After looking back at the comments on the previous episode, thank you for leaving your comments, by the way. It seems like you would like us to go back to the slider settings that we had before. As you know, we updated them recently as we changed a couple on the CPU side. Pass error down to 45, so we'll put that back to the 50 that it was previously. And the marking as well, we'll put that down to 50 as it was before. I also get comments a lot asking me about my camera settings. So here they are. I've shown you these before, but here they are again in case you've missed them. Classic for single player and classic as well for our my player. With that being said, welcome back, my friends, to our My Player Career Mode. I hope you're all feeling fantastic and having an awesome day. I appreciate each and every one of you who support me. If we can get 800 likes on today's My Player Career Mode before Saturday, 12 p.m., which is midday, then we'll get another My Player episode out for all of you lovely people on the Sunday. You will still have a video on Sunday as well. It'll be a double upload Sunday with My Player out as well as the video that I already have scheduled to drop this Sunday. So, what have we got in store for you today? Well, first of all, let's take a look back at what happened previously. 3-1 victory over Basel in the Europa League, but we were humbled in Serie A. We ended up starting with a 1-0 victory over Roma. Adrian Rabio scoring a late goal to win us the game in that one. But back-to-back -back defeats. Fiorentina first, a 2-1 defeat. And then Milan at the San Siro, a 3-1 defeat. Today, we have got Udinese, Torino and Lazio as we'll sim the game against Genk in the Europa League and sim the game against the Czech Republic in the European Championship qualifiers. So sit back, relax and hopefully enjoy Udinese up first. The two lineups are on your screen. Return to winning ways for Juventus, please. Here is Chiesa looking for Pedri. Pedri will get to the ball as well. Back the way of Federico Chiesa inside from Vlahovic. Great challenge. Bosch Cagli with it. Chiesa's back. He'll find Pedri. Back the way of Chiesa again. How it's not 1-0. Silvestri with the save. It was a thunderbolt from Chiesa. But what a save it was by Silvestri. Juventus knocking on the door early. Gavardiol's header. And there's the goal. It's Gavardiol who's got it. Udinese behind inside six minutes. And you saw moments before this, Silvestri had to save from Federico Chiesa, who puts a tremendous amount of power on his shots. Not quite sure how he didn't score our opening goal, but then the corner's delivered in. Gavardiol puts his hand in the air. We put it right on the money. And it's a brilliant header. You've got to say, though, Silvestri, who did well with the Chiesa effort, should do better with this header from Gavardiol. Juventus won't care, though. It is 1-0 as we begin this episode. Goal elsewhere to tell you about as Fiorentina have taken the lead in their game. And here's Udinese with an equaliser here. It's Joaquin Correa who's got it. And inside 14 minutes, Juventus's lead has gone. Just as Fiorentina have scored in their game, Joaquin Correa has equalised for Udinese. So Juve defensively still have questions to be asked. De Jong's ball out wide will find me. And what will the response be from Juventus then after conceding the equaliser? As we look for the ball out wide to Chiesa, he will get there. Now Vlahovic, touch lets him down and he's given away the ball cheaply. Here come Udinese then with another opportunity to take themselves forward. Dada finding Bore. Bore plays it to the right-hand side. Makengo out to Ebosele. Ebosele towards Correa. Correa to Bore. Wonderfully worked by Udinese, who have deservedly taken the lead here at the Allianz Stadium. Juventus caught nothing again. And this, this is the level at which we knock the ball around many, many times. But not on this occasion. It's Udinese who've done it. Borde with the finish. Noticed as well. Bailo is not the goalkeeper for Juventus today. Castiles is in between the sticks for Juve. There is little that he could do about Udinese's two goals. They've had two shots, scored them both. Bore with a, a lovely ball to pick out Dada. And it's 3-1 Udinese. Juventus is humbling against Milan and Fiorentina looks to continue. Shots on target, three apiece, but the score is 3-1 Udinese. For reference, by the way, I am recording this video after I've just finished a day at university, hence why I'm a little bit tired, but that doesn't take away anything from the poor performance so far by Juventus. Simply put, we have to improve in the second half. Dada's corner into the box. Correa attacks it. Gavardio will get to the ball here as he looks to play his way out. He's unable to do so. So Yunchu's picked it up. And now the shot comes through from Makengo. It's cleared away by Zakaria. Vlahovic can help it further forward for Juventus. Is the break on here? Pedri, Vlahovic. 
Lovic plays me the ball, but I wanted him to wait a little bit longer to allow me to make the move because I wasn't away. Two additional minutes by the referee. De Jong, Vlahovic. Can he get the ball out wide for Chiesa? Vlahovic holds on to it. Way too long. And the problem is, Vlahovic at the moment is on a tough run of games. He's not played well for the previous few fixtures. And he was the spearhead of this Juventus attack when we were playing well. The link-up play he had with myself and Chiesa when we were making those runs in behind, he was finding us every time. That's not been happening as of recently. Big second half coming up here at the Allianz Stadium for Juventus as we look to try and overturn this 3-1 deficit that we currently have. Vlahovic with the ball out wide. We'll control it and turn back inside. Vlahovic again. Can he get the ball through? Well, he's found me and we try to open up the space and we've done it brilliantly. There's one. We still need another to draw level and another to take the lead. But there is one right at the start of this second half. And it's one out of the top draw as well. Vlahovic with the ball back inside. We take it back out the box before coming back in. And then I'm so glad the finish was there. Silvestri, no chance on this one. Game on. Udinese a little bit rattled now because they've just given the ball away straight away. Juventus with their tails up looking to try and draw themselves level almost immediately. The header across will find De Jong who picks out me. Back the way of De Jong. Now Pedri. Pedri into the area. Across for Chiesa. Chiesa! What a ball back post! Wonderful from Juventus! That is a goal that can be rewatched over and over again. Chiesa with the knowledge to pull it to the back stick. And all of a sudden, Juventus are level and Juventus have momentum to try and take the lead. Look at this. Pedri's ball. Chiesa then heads it across and you're thinking, surely. And we are there. 22 for the season now we move on to. And are we about to try and take the lead in this one? McKengo, Borde. Great ball. Correa should have given Udinese the lead again. Castiles though with a brilliant save. Now Chiesa to Pedri. Pedri to Vlahovic. Vlahovic will find me as we're away from a challenge, waiting for a couple of runs. The run has been made here by Tierney. There's the ball towards him. Tierney trying to find Vlahovic, given away. And if he'd have got Vlahovic through, you're thinking surely that's 4-3 Juventus, but it could have so easily been 4-3 Udinese. But for the brilliance of Castiles, saving from Correa. Here is Gusto. De Jong will find me. And whatever the boss said at halftime, it's clearly worked because the response from Juventus, they look like a different side. Vlahovic has made the move to my left. Vlahovic will get it. What can he do from this position? We tried to give him the run to a central area. Vlahovic is ball into the box. Pedri battles away and he somehow got the ball towards me. I don't know how it's worked, but it's a hat-trick for us. The goals are flowing again. Seven here in the Allianz Stadium. Juve four, Udinese three. And we've got three of the four. Final few moments now of this game as it's given away. And that's not a good sign. Udinese looking for a late equaliser. They might just get it. They will just get it. The reaction from me says it all. Hands onto face as I fall backwards onto the ground. I can't quite believe we have thrown this away. It is Juventus 4, Udinese 4 from the Allianz Stadium for a neutral what a game to watch. For a Juventus fan, turn away and don't watch. I'm not really sure what more I could do today. A hat-trick and we got the assist on the other goal as well. There is still time here for us as we play Vlahovic. Vlahovic trying to keep us on the ball, unable to do so. And that is full time. It finishes 4-4. And somehow, I mean, I'm collecting the match ball, but it's a sour, sour taste knowing that we only pick up a single point. Luckily for us, Fiorentina were held by Hellas Verona to a 1-1 draw and Roma were beaten. But it's Milan we need to worry about. They're the team at the top now. Uh, having said that, I think we do take top spot back, maybe, by a point. I can't quite remember. We do indeed, yes. So, right now, we are just a point above Milan and Napoli. 12 games in and Napoli, we are still to play them. But Milan... They have got the head-to-head -head record on us. So we do have to keep that in consideration. European Championship qualifiers we take on the Czech Republic. And I will be simming the game. There we go. 3-0 victory. Kane and Sancho with the goals. I am planning on showing you where my attribute points have gone. But I'm going to wait until I hit level 40 to do that. That way we've got every single skill point available to us. You can see at the top right there, we are very close to reaching level 40. So as soon as that's done... 
I'll show you where we put our skill points for now, though. We are moving into the next game, and it's a must win because Napoli and Milan both pick up points. Having said that, Milan only drew. Napoli, however, they won their game. So as we take on Torino away, we need a victory. Should have got it against Udinese. We weren't able to do so. Will we get it here in this one? Two lineups on your screen unchanged from Juventus, apart from Bailao comes in to replace Castiles in goal. Should have changed the kit that we're wearing because although you can tell the difference, it is pretty close to Torino's kit. So I apologize for that. I should have changed ours, but great tackle anyway by Bremer to start things off. Zakaria should get to this ball first and he does. Vlahovic has given us a move. We are going to use his run to open up some space. Where's Chiesa's run though? Chiesa is in the middle. There he is. Federico Chiesa. Vlahovic! Juve lead. That had to be a goal. As soon as the ball gets to Vlahovic, he's got to finish it and he does. Importantly for Juventus. Start we made to this game. There was a little bit of nervousness and I wonder if that's because after dropping points against Fiorentina, Milan and Udinese, we've had a bit of a blip in form. And you just sense that little bit of tenseness in our play. But Vlahovic smashes the ball into the top corner. It is 1-0. But after conceding four against Udinese, I'm not sure we'll keep a clean sheet here against Torino. De Jong, Chiesa, Vlahovic. Vlahovic for two. Vlahovic will find two. And Torino are beginning to fall apart. Is this a bit of Juventus redemption? Because they often say when you've had a bad run of results, you end up playing against a team and just dominating the game and winning by a convincing scoreline. And I wonder if Torino are going to be on the end of a convincing scoreline here today. Blahovic with his second. Juve don't seem like they're done there. Pedri forward to De Jong. De Jong lets the ball go towards me. Blahovic is on a hat trick. Here is Blahovic for his hat trick. And there it is. It's three for our number nine. And it's three for Juventus inside 40 minutes. And the floodgates are beginning to open for Torino, which is not good for them. But I was about to say, I've had a pretty quiet first half here. I've not really done much. And there we go. We got an assist at least. But this man, it's good to see him back in the goals now. And this will do in the world of good for his confidence. Three today for Vlahovic. And we've not even ended the first half yet. Pedri, switch a play out to the right-hand side, which we will control and immediately run at Torino. Vlahovic has made the move again. Vlahovic is in for four! And he would have got it, but for a brilliant save from Torino's goalkeeper. Zakaria, De Jong, Chiesa's in the middle. Chiesa, there's four! Right as we began the second half, Chiesa's got himself on the score sheets and Juventus are being ruthless. Unfortunately for Torino, they are on the end of a hefty defeat, it looks like. Juventus... Look like they are in a serious mood now. Chiesa gets the fourth right as the second half begins. Torino have another 40 or so minutes to try and withstand and make sure the scoreline doesn't get worse. Quick one to Vlahovic to try and get us away, but we're not completely away yet. As we cut it back inside, Torino have opened up again. This could be another one for Juve. It is indeed. The run from Vlahovic gave us the space we needed. To utilise it, get into a central position. Juve have their fifth. It's our first of the afternoon as well. I feel for Torino because unfortunately for them today, they've been on the receiving end of a performance that Juventus needed for confidence. A 5-0 scoreline, almost six there, but for a good save. And as I say, on another day, Torino might have had a chance. But today, Juventus have just had to send a message in many ways to the rest of the league and just say, we've had a bit of a blip. But we're very much still the dangerous side in Syria. Corner ball goes deep. That was not my intention. However, Zachary will get his shot away. Not once, but twice. Piper is able to block. And it will be another Juventus corner. You know what? I'm going to give this one to... Let's give it to Chiesa this time and see if we can get something from his delivery. Still three minutes to go. We want our sixth. Will we find it? Chiesa sends it in towards myself. There's the header. Tipped away. Still got a little bit of time here. 30 seconds or so to try and find our sixth. Zakaria plays De Jong. De Jong will find it. It is 6-0 Juventus. And that will be that from this one. And there you go, my friends. Full time. Return to winning ways for Juventus. Convincingly as well. 6-0 scoreline. We needed that type of result for our confidence. Away to Genk in the Europa League. We are already through the group, I believe. But this will cement our spot at the top with a victory. 
Unfortunately, not the case. We got the goal in a 1-1 draw. And I will quickly show you our Europa League group then, as that game is now done. And uh, we'll move on to Lazio to finish the episode, as we are back top of Syria. So quickly, let's have a look at the Europa League group. Here it is for you. We are top of our group. We cannot be caught by Basel. Four points ahead of them. So we're through as group winners. And we'll await our opponents. There will be a preliminary round played, though, between us getting our opponents and obviously the knockout rounds themselves. So, uh, yeah, we won't play in that. However, we got one more game to go today, that being Lazio, who I expected better things from. But right now, they are down in 11th. Seven draws in their 13 games they've played. That's incredible. Over half of their games have been draws. I hope that won't be the same case as we take them on here. Milan and Napoli still very close to us, though, as well. So, uh, yeah, let's see what the final game brings as we are at home to Lazio. Question marks over this Lazio side, especially if they're playing passes like that. Vlahovic with a chance! And Providel with the save. The question mark I was going to say over this Lazio side is how on earth are they where they are with so many draws? Well, when you see passes like that, that could be an indication. Vlahovic probably should have scored. It is a Juventus corner. And we'll see if this could be the opening goal of the game. It's a wicked delivery right into that dangerous area. The goalkeeper unsure as to whether or not he wants to come out to claim the ball or stay on his line. Chooses to do the latter. Brerett and Diaz out wide for Romero. Romero's touch inside. Looking for Brerett and Diaz again. Ben Brerett and Diaz! Lazio lead! It is a rocket from Brerett and Diaz. And Lazio are here to play in Turin. And that has certainly sent the travelling Lazio fans into song as Brerett and Diaz picks out the top corner, giving Bailao no chance at all. It is a wonderful strike. Juventus caught on the counter. We've heard this story before, but it's Lazio one shot, Lazio one goal. Patrick put under a bit of pressure by myself. We've stolen the ball. And this could be a moment for Juventus to look for an equaliser. Vlahovic inside the box. He's at the post. How was he at the post? That had to be 1-1. He went for power and in the end didn't have the accuracy. Patrick will breathe a sigh of relief because we put the press on. He lost the ball and Vlahovic couldn't make Lazio pay. De Jong now finds me. Vlahovic is looking to give us the run, which we're away from a couple of challenges. The pass is there to be found. Kiesa, Vlahovic! There's the equaliser! No mistake from our number nine this time around. And that silences Lazio somewhat. They started strongly. Lazio with that early goal by Brera and Diaz. But they got away with one moments before this when Vlahovic hit the post. He doesn't miss this time. One all here at the Allianz Stadium. You thought Brera and Diaz's was good. So was Vlahovic's. Lazio looking to finish the half strongly with a corner. It is in towards the middle and Zakaria heads away. Patrick will pick up the loose ball. Find Clement Lengle as ref. There is a single minute of added time, but you have played way more than that single minute. And Bailao has to save Juventus. We're into the 50th minute, but the scoreline stays 1-1 at the break, courtesy of Justin Bailao. Start of the second half. Vlahovic on the turn for Juventus. He's got Chiesa to his right now. Vlahovic plays it Pedri. Pedri will play Chiesa. Chiesa will play me. Touch is brilliant. The finish equally so. And it is 2-1 Juve. The touch to give us that space. The finish into the top right corner. And I think moments before we just scored that, the boss has gone to ultra attacking. So hopefully he rethinks his strategy because there's the goal we needed to put us in front. And at halftime in the games elsewhere, Milan are currently being held to a 0-0 draw in a game that you could say they should win. So that is going in our favour elsewhere too. Especially now that we've just gone two on in front here. 25 in 14 in Serie A for us. We've got a problem here. And that problem is that there is so much space as Lazio should be on level terms. Good, good play by Bailao to close the angle. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it is 2-1. We've done it again. How is it so open? How are we so open at the back? Lazio... I started to bring out Bailao initially in order to close the angle down, which forced the shot onto the post. But then they're the quickest to react. And they still create the goal regardless. 
Juventus will be kicking themselves at the fact that once again, points have been dropped in a game that they were minutes away from winning. The exact same story as we saw against Udinese. We've seen it again here. Fortunately for us, Cremonese held Milan to a 0-0 draw. So although we dropped points against Lazio, it's not the end of the world because it does mean we're still top by two points. But this title race is heating up further as Fiorentina invited back into it as there's just four points between fourth and first right now. Napoli second, Milan third, Inter in fifth, seven behind us. Sassuolo up next for us as well. This is going to be a close title race, it feels like, especially if we are dropping points here and there. Can we finish the episode by reaching level 40 is the question. And yes is the answer. Four more skill points as we maxed our pro at 40. No more levels to gain. I'm going to have a little play around with my settings in where I've put my skill points and see what I can do in the way of overalls. I believe we've got a new wage increase, but I need to be 94 rated for that. So I'm going to try and achieve that 94 overall if I can. So uh, yeah, next episode, I'll show you what I've gone with in the way of skill points. For now, though, that is going to be the end of today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like rating down below. It does help push the video out to new viewers and help me on my quest to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you're not already subscribed, though, and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below. Over 65% of you currently watching my videos are not subscribed. Let's change that. Thank you all so much for all of your incredible support. Until the next video, stay safe. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Look after each other, and I'll catch you all again soon. Adios.